All right, so we just finished with the open valley, and now we're gonna show the closed valley. What a closed valley is, is where the slates come together and they butt, so you actually can't see any of the copper. The copper is going to be stepped in one piece at a time, so you'll see what we're gonna do. First, John is measuring to see if he needs to use extra wide slate or if he can just use all the same size. Now he's going to mark the slate to cut. First he marks the bottom of the slate. Then he marks the intersection point, the same angle, by turning the slate over. Now he marks a line between the two marks. He is cutting from the back side so that he gets a nice beveled edge. It fits perfectly, and now he can nail it into place. Being careful to nail it perfectly so it's not too tight so that the nail is not sticking up. The nail should be just flush with the slate. Now he's putting in the next piece of closed valley. A closed valley should always be stepped up in pieces and not in long 10 foot sections. He's filling in the sides with slate. The piece is cut and ready to install. He double nails it on the side so that there aren't any holes in the center of the valley. The same thing on this side. Punching it to put two nails on the left side so as not to nail the center of the valley. Putting in the next piece of copper. He rotates his slate 180 degrees so that he can mark the bottom edge. He transposes this mark to the back side. Now he turns it over and marks the intersecting spot. Laying the slate in this fashion gives him the correct angle. Now that he has both intersecting points, he draws a line between both marks on the back of the slate. And he cuts it from the back side so the chamfered edge is on the front. He's ready to mark another slate, rotated at 180 degrees. Transfer the mark to the back. Makes the second mark, Drawing the line between the marks on the back side and cutting it. He's now nailing it into place. Repeat this process all the way up the roof.